welcome to a brief overview of our solar system, where we'll venture from the sun out to the distant Oort cloud. Thank you for watching, and enjoy. Our solar system is a vast and ever-changing place, consisting of the sun, eight planets, five officially named dwarf planets, with many more awaiting confirmation, countless moons, asteroids, and comets. Located in the Orion Arm, or Orion Spur, of the Milky Way galaxy, our solar system spans an incredible distance of about 200,000 astronomical units, approximately 30 trillion kilometers, or 18.6 trillion miles across. This incredible distance shows the impact of the Sun's mighty gravity. At the heart of our solar system lies our star, the Sun a massive ball of burning gas that provides the energy necessary for life on Earth. The Sun's gravity holds the solar system together, and its light and heat influence every planet and object within its reach. The Sun is primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, undergoing nuclear fusion to produce the energy that powers our solar system. Let's move on to the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These terrestrial, or rocky planets, are closest to the Sun and have solid surfaces composed of rocky and metallic materials. Mercury, the smallest planet, experiences extreme temperatures, ranging from scorching heat during the day to freezing cold at night. Mercury has no substantial atmosphere, no rings, and no moons. Venus, shrouded in thick clouds of sulfuric acid, has a runaway greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. Venus has no moons or rings. Earth, our home, is the only planet known to support life, with its diverse ecosystems and liquid water, along with our protective atmosphere and magnetic field. Earth is also accompanied by one moon and no rings. Mars, the red planet has captivated scientists with its potential for past or present life, featuring the largest volcano and canyon in the solar system. Mars has no rings, but it does have a thin atmosphere and two moons. Beyond the asteroid belt lie the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, along with a subcategory of gas giants called the ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has a powerful magnetic field and nearly a hundred moons and counting, including Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system. Jupiter also has a faint ring system, composed mainly of dust particles ejected from its moons due to meteoroid impacts. Being a gas giant, Jupiter has no solid surface, but rather a churning and dense collection of gas with a solid core possibly hiding deep within. Saturn is famous for its stunning ring system, composed of countless chunks of ice and rock particles, ranging in size from a grain of sand to the size of a mountain. Saturn also currently has the most moons in the solar system, with 146 and counting. Much like Jupiter, there is no solid surface on Saturn. Uranus has a severe axial tilt, causing it to rotate on its side possibly due to a massive collision in its distant past. And it also has a faint ring system, along with 28 known moons. Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun, has supersonic winds and a dynamic atmosphere with large storms. Neptune is also accompanied by 16 known moons, and it also has a faint ring system. Being ice giants, Uranus and Neptune also have no solid surface but rather a soupy mix of gas and icy materials. Our solar system also includes five official dwarf planets and many others awaiting confirmation. The five official dwarf planets in our solar system are Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. These objects are mostly located in the Kuiper Belt, a region filled with icy bodies, with the exception of Ceres, which resides in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, making it the largest object in the asteroid belt. The Kuiper Belt is a donut-shaped collection of asteroids, comets, and other icy objects that lie beyond the orbit of Neptune. 
This region extends from about 30 to 55 astronomical units from the Sun, approximately 4.5 to 8.2 billion kilometers, or 2.8 to 5.1 billion miles, and is home to many small icy objects that are remnants from the solar system's formation. Out here is the home of Pluto and the remaining dwarf planets. These distant objects provide clues about the early solar system and the formation of planets. The Oort Cloud is a theoretical spherical shell of icy bodies that surrounds the solar system. At a distance of up to 100,000 astronomical units from the Sun, approximately 15 trillion kilometers, or 9.3 trillion miles, it is believed to be the source of long-period comets that take thousands of years to orbit the Sun. The Oort Cloud is thought to be the supposed edge of our solar system, and it is so vast that it extends nearly halfway to the nearest star system, Alpha Centauri. The Oort Cloud and Kuiper Belt are crucial for understanding the outer reaches of our solar system and the origins of comets. As briefly mentioned before, moons orbit many of the planets, as well as dwarf planets and asteroids, with Earth's moon being the most well-known. Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus are particularly intriguing because they may harbor subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts, making them prime targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. Asteroids, primarily found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, are rocky remnants from the solar system's formation. Comets, with their glowing tails, originate from the distant Oort cloud and Kuiper belt and their appearances in the inner solar system provide valuable scientific data. One of the most exciting aspects of our solar system is the search for life beyond Earth. Scientists study extreme environments on Earth, such as deep sea hydrothermal vents and acidic lakes to understand how life might exist in similar conditions elsewhere. Missions like NASA's Europa Clipper are set to explore the icy moons of Jupiter while the James Webb Space Telescope will search for habitable exoplanets around other stars. Our solar system is a place of wonder and discovery, offering endless opportunities for exploration and learning. Whether you're gazing at the stars or diving into scientific research, the mysteries of our solar system await you. Thank you so much for joining me on this cosmic journey. If you enjoyed this video, Feel free to show your support with a like or by sharing this video with other curious minds. Your support truly helps a great deal, helping others find and enjoy these adventures through space. I am also forever grateful for the support from this community. I appreciate you all. I would also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you would like to join me on more journeys soon, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again. Until next time, take care and be well.